Yo, what's good everyone? Hopefully you're having a great day so far. My name is Noah and I'm here to talk a little bit about some football. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Today we're taking a deep dive into the Russell Wilson trade two years later. We're gonna see exactly what happened, how it played out, and where to go from here. So what exactly went down? So the Broncos thought they were one piece away from a Super Bowl. So what did they do? They went all in for Russell Wilson from the Seahawks. They traded a bunch of draft picks, including two first rounders, three second rounders, and uh, they also gave him a five-year, $242 million contract, which is uh, a lot of money. So obviously that was a very bold move, but did it pay off? Fast forward, obviously it did not pay off. Uh, <laughs> Russell Wilson in two seasons with the Broncos, he managed to go 11 and 19. That is winning 11 games and 30 starts. Wait, 11 and 19, is that even 30? One eternity later. In two seasons with the Broncos, Russell Wilson went 19 and 11. Oh, no, sorry. That's, that's not, that would be better. He went 11 and 19. He won 11 games and 30 starts. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, not great. That's not exactly what you want when you pay $240 million to a player. That's really not what you want. That's not what you expect. Diving deeper into his stats. He put up 6,594 passing yards. 42 touchdowns, oops, 19 picks, and a passer rating of 90.9. Kind of like I was saying, that's not exactly the $260 million performance that you're looking for, or $240 million, excuse me. So when when you look at this uh, this this train crash, so to speak, who who's really to blame for this outcome? And honestly, I feel like it's a little bit of everybody. There's really not really one person you can blame. First off, Let's look at Russell Wilson. While he is a proven talent, and a few years ago we were saying he was on his way to the Hall of Fame, he 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 simply just did not perform. He did not perform up to up to par. He did not perform like any of us expected him to. He was not Mr. Unlimited. He was in fact very limited. I'm not sure if maybe he didn't do enough high knees on the plane or something. I really don't know what happened with him, but he became Mr. Limited. And um, yeah, he didn't live up to to his expectations hype or the price tag so he he really was a letdown unfortunately and second the broncos front office has to take its share of blame as well they gave up everything to get this guy man they gave up a bunch of draft picks all this money impacted the future rosters that could have been built you know with everything that they gave up and the coaching decisions that they made weren't the best for russell wilson and uh yeah, we all know that there was beef between Sean Payne and Russell Wilson. So knowing the type of quarterback Russell Wilson is, they go out and get a coach that is Sean Payton. And obviously they did not mesh well for whatever reason. Some would say Sean Payton and uh, Russ don't have similar styles, I guess. Russell Wilson wants to play his play style. Head coach obviously wants the offense to run through his play style. So with that is a clear clear clash and uh, conflict of interest. We can make a whole separate video, honestly, just about uh, Russell Wilson and Sean Payton and their, their beef and their relationship. But for time's sake, we'll leave it at they did not get along for today's video. So where does this leave us? Well, this trade is being talked about as the worst trade in NFL history. For obvious reasons, they traded almost the entire future of the franchise for, for two seasons of not even mediocrity, just below average quarterback play. And it's very sad. Yeah, I, I definitely, I can't remember a trade that's worse than this in recent years. This is, uh, this is just terrible. This is like a Madden franchise uh, trade that you would never see happen in real life, but it somehow glitched and it did happen in real life. But yeah, that's, uh, that's just my perspective. Let me know your comments on how this played out. Where do you think Russ will land? Let's uh, let's hear it in the comments below. Let's hear your take. I I have no clue where he will go. I don't even think he'll play. He still has 30 million guaranteed from the Broncos next season, and he's going to be getting paid 30 million to do nothing. So if I was him, I wouldn't be stressing about it. I don't think he'll be stressing about it. I don't think we'll be seeing Russell Wilson this season. We'll see though. He could uh, obviously be signed to somebody, maybe Vikings, I don't know. But yeah, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe for more NFL videos. I have a lot of content on my channel, so feel free to go ahead and look at that. I have a lot of NFL videos. I have travel videos such as Japan vlogs. I'm going to South Korea very soon. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely go check it out. Other than that, my name is Noah and I am out. Later.